absolutely my favourite city in the world. It's the history of London that makes it so, so special. The Strand sits to the west of the actual city of London. At the other end of the Strand, of course, it leads into Trafalgar Square, where the National Gallery and the National Portrait Gallery are based. St Clement Danes, as it stands at the moment, was built by Sir Christopher Wren in 1681 and is a fine example of his architecture and is in fact a Grade 1 listed building. Thomas Twining founded Twinings in 1706. It's always been a very prestigious area. Across the road we've got the Royal Courts of Justice. There's been a theatre on this site, the Adelphi, um, since 1806. The area of the Strand where the Adelphi is, you can trace it right back to the Roman period. You can sit history in layers, in cultures, in the architecture and in everything that's going on around you. What Stanley Gibbons adds to the Strand is that sense of history. We've been on the Strand since 1891. We are one of the oldest residents and through that I think we just help to give that sense of gravitas. When we were looking at the design of the site, we looked into obviously the historical context and you can see the urban grain of Strand being there from the 14th century. The architecture had to respond to the street that it was within. 190 Strand has a contemporary interpretation of the buildings surrounding it. The things you touch, the things you see up close are the things that give a building the essence of quality. So the Portland stone, the metalwork, the oak, the brickwork, they complement each other. The filigree roof allows some playful form to work with. So when you see it from far away, it appears as a solid form. But actually when you're within your apartment or sitting out on your terrace, you can see through the filigree, through the actual pattern work, and also see through the apertures. There's a multitude of additional facilities. There's a lap pool and a spa, a vitality pool, steam room, sauna. There are beauty treatments, a studio, gym. There's also the added benefits of a leisure and business suite and a cinema preview room. Arrival is everything, so that's why we've created an entrance lobby that has a grand scale to it. It has a, a domed roof like the concierge in front of you. As a designer, I think what we're all after is an emotional response to the space, and I think this space achieves that very well. The finishes translate into the main entrances to the apartments. The design in the living space is a very simple, classical, elegant style but it does have very contemporary detailing. The kitchen uses a very rich palette of materials. Where possible, we try to add island units, which really become the hub of the kitchen. The bedrooms are very well proportioned spaces, very simple detailing, a lot of emphasis on drama and mood. The bathrooms are very elegant. The main feature in every bathroom and shower room really is the vanity unit. Also, you can see the elements of mood lighting and the Swarovski crystals that we've added. 